Hi, this is Terry Brock with TerryBrock.com, and I'm coming to you live and direct from the Mall of Millennia here in Orlando. Uh, I wanted to share some ideas that I had and some thoughts that uh, customer service is really important and nothing is permanent. It has to keep going. Many of you know I'm a big fan of Apple. I love Apple Computer, and matter of fact, here I'm reaching over here in my bag right now. Here, across the uh, thing, and I'm going to show you my good old buddy here that has helped me a lot, my MacBook Pro. And uh, I've got this right here. There we go. It's a great little computer. I uh, love it and all that. But there's been a little problem with it. You know, things break, and so it's like that. Well, so I called up yesterday. One of the nice things about Apple is their Apple Care. So I've got that, and I've got this on um, the year plan. So there was, I think, a problem with the RAM that I put in there, and uh, I might be the way I put it in. But whatever, they're going to take care of it and fix it. That's good. Well, I came in. I was told if I come over today, I could drop it off. I've got an appointment at 1230. 12.30, and I arrived a little bit early so I could go to another meeting. Well, what I did is I got in there about, oh, actually it was around 10 or so, and I said, well, hey, I'll just leave it here. You take care of it at 12.30. Give me a call on my cell phone. Uh, my iPhone 5 right here. Say, I got my old, good old iPhone 5, and it's a wonderful little thing, wonderful little tool, and I love it. So I'm really thoroughly Apple all the way there. And the guy gave me a really hard time. It's like, no, because if you leave it here, then it goes into the uh, system, and we have from five to seven days that we'll look at it. And I'm thinking, <coughs> I don't need that. You know, what's going on here? <coughs> Excuse me for the cough here. Um, but uh, then I'm thinking, this is not good. I'm thinking, why they didn't tell me that yesterday? Matter of fact, they told me I could drop it off there, and then I come back, and I figured it'd be real simple. No, nope, they have their rules. And the guy was really adamant about, these are our rules. And I thought, you know, I'm glad you have your rules, but I have my rules too. And my rules are that if I'm treated in a way that I don't like, it can start eroding even the intense loyalty that I personally have toward Apple. And I heard, hmm, how do you say Samsung? Yeah, Samsung's coming on strong and got some things there. Don't know what's going to happen, but I remember a few years ago it was Microsoft. They were big and they were dominant and you know, they were the ones. Before that, Lotus 1, 2, 3 was real big in spreadsheets and stuff. That was the key. Before that, IBM was big. See, there's always a company that thinks they're so cool and big that they can be around forever. And at that moment, you know you're in trouble. What would it have taken them to go, oh, Terry, pull up and look at who I am, all the things I bought, all the things that I talk about, etc. Maybe pulling up clout scores and things like that. I'm writing a book on clout right now, so uh, I'm with that. They could have changed that, but did they? No. Instead, we will follow the rules. Okay, you have your rules, I have mine. I'm learning to say Samsung, and now looking at that, not that I'm going to jump right away, but my next purchase, definitely going to be looking at that because I'm thinking, they could be getting, I think uh, my grandpa used to say, too big for their britches. Something like that. Anyway, that's something to think about that we've got to always go back to customer loyalty, always focus on what customers are looking for, and it's renewed every day. So, uh, by the way, before I leave, i got to show you around a little bit here. This is the Mall of Millennia in Orlando. As you can see, probably looks much like malls in your area. You can see people wandering around, people having a good time, and I just love the mall. The fact that I can come here, get work done, and... Uh, that means a lot. So you have a wonderful day. This is Terry Brock with terrybrock.com, and I will look forward to hearing from you. Hi, this is Terry again. I'm over here at the Apple Store. Uh, look, as you can see, looking around, and uh, I've got everything ready, set to go, so that I can get my precious little MacBook Pro in place and taken care of. We'll see how it goes, and I, you know me, I'm the eternal optimist, hoping for the very best. So let's see how it turns out. Well, hi, I'm back home now, and I got to tell you how it all turned out. It uh, was a happy ending. Went through, found some wonderful people at Apple. Their geniuses were there. Had actually two of them helping me on the situation. They ran it through the diagnostic, looked at it, and came back with some other areas and gave me actually some tips that are non-Apple. Said, hey, try these folks. They're a little bit cheaper. You can pay this much here at Apple, or you can pay this much, which was really helpful. That engenders loyalty. And I think what happened is you look at it, experiences can be colored by one person. The one person that I ran into was probably just, you know, obeying orders, doing what's necessary. And I'm thinking, oh, you're costing me a lot of time, money, and effort by you doing this. I got back with the other people. They said, hey, let's help you out. Let's see what we can do. And they ran the test and did it right. Apple, of course, really knows how to do that. And the lesson for you and me, the take-home value... Customer service is always changing. We have to constantly reevaluate. Doesn't matter what you did yesterday. What matters is what you've done today. And what matters is what you're doing right now in that moment for that customer. That one employee that your customer will bump into represents the whole company. 
and they make a judgment on the entire company based on their experience with that one company or with that one person. So what you want to do, regularly, daily, interface with your employees, interface with your staff, interface with the people that are your associates, letting them know the importance of customer service and treating people right. Yes, you've said it before, let's do it again today. Always important to stay refreshed and that's a good message for all of us that we need to know. Hey, I'm looking forward to your comments. Let me know what you think. I'm Terry Brock at terrybrock.com and you'll be able to uh, drop me some notes and uh, let me know. Again. Email address is terry at terrybrock.com. Even better, Twitter is at terrybrock. Hey, I will look forward to hearing from you. Hope you have a great day.